Now this is my 89 Chevy truck and I switched it over to a carburetor right there. See? Actually someone gave me the carburetor. Way down here is the way I configured it. That's my uh, little gauge. That's my, uh, I forget what you call it, but you adjust uh, pressure. This is my fuel pump. I got a little uh, filter there. It runs back to the gas tank. I'll show you that. That's the HEI I bought to fit in there. But the truck ran after I put the uh, carburetor on. So, and it did advance because I put the timing light on it. I don't know if I'm in time, but I wanted to see where I was before I ripped it all apart. Now here's my 89 Chevy truck. I'm going to take this off of here. I'm changing it, getting rid of this fuel injection. I'm going to change that, and I'm probably going to change the distributor. I got a different one for that. And I'm going to rip all that off. And I'm going to, there's my air cleaner. I'm going to put my carburetor on. Maybe a little gauge. I'm going to put my uh, fuel pump on. And it's going to go down here in this other one I got from the junkyard and pull the fuel out of the tank. So first thing I'm going to do is disconnect the negative from the battery. Remember that uh, electricity all your stuff runs from negative to, to positive, not from positive to negative. So then, we're going to come over here, start taking all this stuff off of here. Get everything out of the way. Now I took my, uh, my gas thing off of here, the cast pedal thing. Taking the back of these things off of here. And you know, getting all this other stuff off of here should be self-explanatory. You don't have to... And there's three bolts here. One here, one over here, and one over here. They come right out like that. So I went and bought myself an adapter plate over the internet. It's going to go on just like that some way. And this is the adapter plate number that I bought from uh, off the internet to adapt under that. So, so I got the gasket. I'm going to put the gasket in first. Then the adapter plate goes like that. And then the adapter plate goes like that, and then I put my three bolts in. Adapter plate, and I had to kind of cut into the sides here to get that adapter plate to fit. So next thing is i got to put my carburetor on. Now here's the adapter plate, and I'm going to put the gasket on, and I'm going to put my carburetor on, just like that, and put it through... I'm going to put it through this adapter plate first. Like that. And get it all lined up. So I get that in. I'm going to put my nuts on it. And now, right here, I doubled up on the bolts. It serves like a lock washer because I don't want them falling out from the inside. And everything is working good. So I'm a little bit worried about the gasket, so I'm putting uh, a silicone on it, or this stuff, permashield, going around the sides with it. I'm just worried about it because uh, there's not a lot of gasket there. Now, I ain't no mechanic, but anybody like me who grew up in the 60s, Knows how to keep stuff going. And then this should go right on there like that. And then I get I already tested this because I know don't ever put nothing on unless you know everything's gonna work. So I hooked up my uh, gas pedal and I realized it wasn't coming back so I put a bungee cord. That's my temporary spring. 
Now we're inside the back of the truck and I cut a hole in this box 15 years ago on my water pump and uh, or not my water pump, my fuel pump here's what it looks like as I pulled this out of a junk car at the junkyard and I know right here that this wire right there goes to my fuel pump, that's the electric wire so I'm just going to copy it, I'm going to take this wire right there and I'm going to snip it right here and run this up into my new fuel pump, my electric fuel pump at the front of the truck. So I know this wire is the one that goes to my fuel pump. So I'm going to hook this one up to this wire right here, which is going to go to my uh, my fuel pump up in the front of the truck. So that's it. Now from the ignition to here to the fuel pump, and it goes into my new fuel pump. And I just uh, use these things. I'll come back and I'll do it right when I get it running. So okay. Here's what I did. Here's my fuel pump. Here's that wire that came from the back of the gas tank. This is a ground and I just hooked it up right to the battery, the ground to the battery. And I primed it. I, I got a little funnel and I put some gas down there and I just put this here temporary to see if it fits. So I cheated already. I poured a little gas in the carburetor and I'm going to show you. the gas tank and I'm using a tube cutter because I don't want to be using a hacksaw because I want no sparks. So there it is. That's my tube. Right there. And I shine it up a little bit. That is what I'm going to hook my gas line up to. Right there. Now these other ones, because I know I got it, I know I got to cap this one. And I got to leave this one go because it goes up into uh, the reserve that takes the gas vapors. So uh, you got to study all that stuff. So now I'm just going from the gas tank into the fuel filter. The reason I left some extra room is that I could always blow through the line and see if it's clogged. Trying to make everything so simple, the dumbest mechanic in the world could fix it. So I changed it up a little. I got my fuel filter. I got my fuel pump. And I put a fuel pressure regulator right here. And because this was reading like 10 pounds. And I know if I left it 10 pounds, it might blow the seats out. And because you're only supposed to, be, to have like 5 or 6 pounds. So that's it. I'm just going to go through the whole thing again. And... Uh, then I'll put the distributor in on a different date and see how that works. So in case you were wondering, the only thing is the light came on up here. Gauges are all working fine. Oil pressure either a different gauge and it doesn't matter. But everything's working as it's supposed to. With the computer still in there. I checked my timing and I know you probably can't see it, but it did advance with the computer. I just wanted to see where I was. 